We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. He's coming down to the ring right now. Not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. He's coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen, but they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're gonna be firing off punches within moments. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. go. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Gets rid of that body shot. Coming up, coming up. <laughs> What does the orthodox fighter have to be conscious of, of guarding against that right hook from the southpaw? I mean, he's got his left hand out there, but a non-traditional defensive structure for him being set up like that. Yeah, absolutely. He has to remember that that punch will come from that angle, and usually he has no danger coming from that angle. So he has to make sure when he jabs, that shoulder is up against his chin. So if the hook does come, it hits the shoulder, not the chin. Great movement to get away from those punches. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Able to show you his blocking ability. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. He just missed that shot up top. Locks it away. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Watch that punch. Watch that. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Pushing his opponent back. He's just looking for some room to connect again. Yeah, it looks a little bit like George Foreman when he was in there with Joe Frazier, parrying him a little, pushing him to a distance where he can nail him. Three minutes gone by in this round. 
Well, the end of the round is upon us. And oh boy, we need to catch our breath ourselves. Now these guys are not shy about introducing themselves. They came right out at the beginning. They said hello with punches, punches and bunches. Great exchanges we've seen so far. Hands in there. Let's go. You have to double the jab, right? It's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see that double jab. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward. Down. Big left hand. Let it go. Showing you some defense there with the block. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Wow, nice flush left hand. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, surviving. Wow, is he defensively sound. That was off the mark. A good block. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Where's the body get? Body shots! Able to get rid of that one. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. A well-placed left hand up top. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there. Stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's wanting to keep it going that way. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it, nice work out there. Just keep uh, fighting smart. Oh, yeah, keep busy. And don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? You don't need that. No, throw that away. That was good. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're going to find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. Good defensive skill. Nice, nice. Unlock, good punches. Yeah, that's it. 
Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. A big right hand. Focus, focus. And there's a clinch after clearly being damaged. One, two, one, two. It's not moving enough. Move, move. Sending out the power shot. It was a straight left hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Fires right back at him. Body I like shot. that step back right there. Just Ooh. enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Oh, Chris! Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. Last 10 seconds. And this round comes Relax. to an end. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Go out and get it. Go out and fight these guys. Take it to these we guys. You have to go out and get this guy. Keep your hands. Uh, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You don't need that. No, throw that away. Start of round four. I was trying to listen into what was told to him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds to zip. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move after your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. You're paying a price. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Well placed shot. Came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Very nice defensive guard there. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Not able to land the headshot. Back to the body. Just ate a big right, uppercut. Me, He's man. in bad shape. Hey, keep fighting. Just let's go. He 
clinches when he gets to the inside. with the right hand. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place. And that is, we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He's able to stun his opponent, and you gotta think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. I need you to focus, keep your hands up, keep working the jab. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. A little head hunting with the right. Plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Not much action as he just ties up. Hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. You got this one. Good way to protect the midsection. Come on, keep focused. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. You're losing this fight. You gotta pick it up. You hear me? Pick it up. Please. I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whenever he misses, 
counter. The start of the sixth round. Blocks the headshot. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you'd tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape. Wow! What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. Nice work with the uppercut. Imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start to wonder. Left and right, left and right. He's working the jam. Good, good. And he returns on that exchange. He missed it. Big, big shot, comes crashing home. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five, six. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is gonna be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead, but as you said, very close fight and the kind of fight where you let up for a moment you're gonna lose it stay away from that power hand okay keep circling away from that power hand i need you to keep moving side to side all right and we are underway with the second half of this fight little head knock Oh, that's got to hurt. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. What a big shot. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got four. 
floor. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. One, two, three, four, five. Fight is over. A knockout. Unable to beat the count of ten. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. You know, Teddy, not long ago when we put up your scorecard on the screen, I noticed somebody from his corner looking up at the big Jumbotron here in the arena. They knew he was losing this fight. Yeah, but that's smart use of information. They got it to him, they let him know, and they got the results they wanted, they needed. The result, a knockout victory. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.